Hey everybody, today your auto runs through the coldest night, but before I get going, please turn your subtitles on to the Klingon channel so that when I make rules goofs, you'll know what they are. And if you've done that, well, then welcome to a dark and freezing night. Uh, the snow has come in, we are stuck in a cabin, and we are freezing to death. And all we've got to keep us warm at the moment is a match that has lit some newspapers that has got some logs burning. And we have to keep this fire going all night if we want to survive. And I'm going to show you how it works today in a two-player run-through. Which means each player at the beginning of the game has three kindling cards. Which just represent different things they find in the log cabin that they can throw on the fire. And on your turn, you're going to go through a few steps. First, you have the potential to get rid of frostbite. Although, at the beginning of the game, we haven't earned any frostbite yet. So we'll ignore that in the first round, then I can either, on my turn, feed the fire or scavenge for more kindling. One or the other. And then after I've made that choice and done it, I will then uh, clean up, which is the fire starts to die down. And we might get frostbite, and uh, then I do get to find one more kindling card at the end of my turn. So, how is this going to work? Well, like I said, I can either feed the fire, which means I can throw these cards into the flames. Um, I can throw more than one, although there can never be more than four. So right now, since there's already three, the most I can play would be one. Uh, the bed slats, the music box, or the family portrait. Now, if I don't throw anything into the fire, instead what I can do is, it's going to burn down, uh, but instead of feeding it, I can draw three cards from the kindling deck, and I can divide them amongst players any way I want. I look at them and I decide, well, maybe I'll keep them all, or I'll give some to you, or I spread them around. You know, what I'm handing out is secret, because uh, uh, basically, this is an imperfect communication game. Players are never allowed to talk about what they've got in their hands. It's just too cold. And um, so, how? what am I going to play? Well, based on what I've got right now... I think it's kind of a no-brainer. I want to burn these bed slats. Now, there's a few things about the cards. One, this is how much heat they generate. This is their ash value, which means to be able to play the card, the total heat that is burning right now has to be at least as hot as the ash value. So the logs are three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven heat at the moment, which means I can play the bed slats. Um, now, unfortunately, the bed slats only provide one heat. They don't burn very hot. But in the process of burning them, I also found the axe. So this is now an item that we as a group have. Anybody on their turn can use the axe to draw a card or get one heat if they need it right then. Okay, so that was it. I fed the fire. I can't play any more cards even if I wanted to. And yeah, I certainly, I mean, now the, the total heat is eight, which means I could play the music box. It's hotter than I need it to be, or I could play these, but you cannot have more than four cards burning. So that was my main phase. Now clean up. The fire dies down, which normally means the rightmost card is gone. So we just lost two heat. I put one heat in, and we lost two heat. That was a bad trade. Um, but hey, we have the axe that we could use at some point. All right. So the fire dies down. Then we check for, pros for frostbite. If there were only one or two cards here... I would get frostbite, which is to say, basically, on a turn where you are not feeding the fire and instead you go scavenging, you will get a frostbite card, and these are nasty effects that hurt us, and we have to get rid of them during the frostbite removal phase. Now, as it is, I don't have any frostbite, and the last thing I do is I draw another kindling card, and I've got a picture frame. The heat needs to be at least four, and it generates two heat. That was my turn. And now it is Jen's turn. She's already got her cards over to the side. And here's the deal, folks. I'm not going to tell you what they are, because so much of this game is about you just having to make the best decision you can without having a firm idea of what your opponent can or cannot do. So I am just going to keep her silent, and we'll see what she comes up with. Right, she counts. Uh, you are allowed to talk about the current state of things. What items we have, what frostbite is in play. All public information you can talk about and strategize. You just can't talk about what's in your hands. So, it's uh, four, five, six. Jen will throw some tablecloth on. So, these are burning very bright. Uh, so, we are now quite a bit warmer. Uh, you needed a total of four. We had a total of six. So, Jen threw the tablecloth. Good job. And, um, again, she cannot play anymore. So, she'll go on ahead and skip it. Fire dies down. She doesn't get any frostbite. And now, uh, she draws another card. Okay, it is my turn. So, now what have we got here? 
Uh, uh, right, so it is burning seven, which means I could burn the music box. But you'll notice, a lot of these cards, not only do they have how hot they burn, how hot the fire has to be to let them burn, but they also have effects that will go. So, this is a target. As soon as I play this, I have to remove a card of my choice from the fire pit instead of the rightmost card. And now that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I think now is a good time to play it. We have a total heat of seven, which means I can play the music box. And this target has changed the rules. Normally, at the end of the round, the logs would burn out. But instead, I can target and make whatever I want burn out. So I'll have these bed slats, which aren't producing much heat anyway. They'll be the things that burns out. And then I get to draw another card. So now we are burning hotter than we started. That's very nice. You get the black uh, events, the text, if it's black, that means it's a good thing. If this is red, that means it's a bad thing. Like this family portrait. If I try to burn this family portrait, that's not going to be good because I will have to remove the highest heat value card instead of the rightmost. So the timing of burning this, uh, you have to be very, very clever about it. So anyway, so that was my next turn. And it is now Jen's next turn. And let's see, she uh, wants to burn something super hot because she can. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She says, oh yeah, baby, it's time for the jewelry box to burn, which would have been a tough thing to get to, to get set on fire. And unfortunately, it doesn't burn very hot, but um, Jen got this out of your hand. Because that's the thing. We have to make it through the night. That means we have to burn everything in this kindling deck with, uh, out the, without the fire going out. If all the fire cards are gone, we lose. If all the frostbit cards are gone, we lose. If we can burn through everything and those other things don't happen, we win. And so it's all about trying to be able to burn the really tough things to burn and keep this fire going. So anyway, so Jen added that. That's great. However, um, oh, 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 hold on a second. <sighs> oh, Jen, okay. So, spoiler alert, Jen has the jewelry box. She wants to burn this right now. She really does. Um, but I don't think she's going to. So, for, pretend you don't know this is in her hand. Um, Jen instead is going to take advantage of the fact that we've got such a hot burn right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She's going to burn the end table. And you're thinking, oh, why is she doing that? We, I mean, we could have done it when the fire was practically dead. We could have burned this. Here's the deal. It's generating two heat. So that's nicer than the jewelry box, for one thing. And it says, if the heat total is nine, get the key. Now, the heat total at this point is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we just got the key. Which anytime we want, somebody can draw two cards. And remember, this is all about getting through that deck as fast as possible. So, um, and this was something you could have burned later, but the bonus was too good to pass up. Plus, Jen is keeping things burning hotter. So anyway, at the end of her turn, the logs burn out, and she draws another card. And fortunately, we have not had to go scavenging yet. Things are going really well. Sometimes, based on the cards you get, you might have to scavenge immediately, and you're dealing with Frostbite right away. But anyway, so now, the heat is three, four, five, six, seven. And that means I should definitely burn this teddy bear. Okay, easy peasy. And um, unfortunately, we're losing a little bit of heat when that goes away, as we're going from, but still, we're doing pretty well. So now we've got six heat, although anytime we want, we could have seven heat. Somebody could discard this to say for their turn, there's seven heat total if you needed it. But we're gonna save these for an emergency. Although, although we are at six, and remember, Jen has this jewelry box, which again, you don't know. So she can't play this right now. It's not burning hot enough. And she will have to get this burned eventually. Even if she used this to, instead of drawing a card, get one more heat, then she still would not be able to burn this. So what is Jen going to do? I think Jen is going to call, is going to use the key, opening up the closet or whatever, and draw two more cards to give her a little bit more flexibility. And while she can't say anything out loud, what that tells me is she must have a lot of very high value cards. Because rather than burning one of them, when we have a decent fire, she had to go and um, use the key to draw two more cards. So hopefully she found something, and she did, she burns the dresser. All right, needed a total of six. That's what we had. This goes away, easy peasy. Jen draws another card. Okay, my turn. And uh, what are we gonna do, what are we gonna do? So now we have a total of uh, seven, 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 that's pretty good. 
Okay. Although, uh, I've got this cabinet door where, again, I need the heat up to 9 so that I could get the kerosene. So I don't want to do that right now. This wouldn't get me up that high. Um, right, we're about to lose 2 heat. So this is interesting. Huh. So if I play the family portrait now, I'm replacing a 2 with a 2, so we're staying even. But this is a bad thing. Remember, red text is bad, and this says, I have to remove the card with the highest heat value instead of the rightmost card. So normally this is going to go, but if I play the family portrait, the dresser will have to go instead. So we'll lose one net heat. But you know, there might be a time later in the game where we've got a 1, a 1, and a 3. And then if I play it, I'll lose the 3 and have to keep the 1s. Right now, replacing a 3 with a 2 instead of replacing a 2 with a 2, that's not a bad trade-off. So while I could just keep things in equilibrium, um, I don't want to do this because I don't want to miss out the chance to get the kerosene. I could do this, but I mean, this is not going to be very hard to burn. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to burn the family fortune now. And Jen might gasp and say, what? But that's the choice I make because we cannot discuss strategy of what's in our hands. So I'm going to burn that. Now something has to go out. And instead of the right most, it is the one that burns the hottest. So we've lost the dresser. And now this is dangerous because remember, I am suspecting that Jen had a lot of high value cards. And I've just made it harder for her to burn those. But we've still got this if we need it. So we'll see how that goes. And like I said, that this could have been... Come, I might have had to play this at a much worse time. So anyway, so that was that. I draw another card. Jen's turn. All right, what is she going to do? She's got some floorboards. I guess she must have found some other good stuff in that closet. All righty, easy peasy. She draws a card. We're doing fine. Um, right, so now we've got three, four, five, six, seven again. Although we could go up to eight if we need it. And, and now you know, folks, that Jen has this eight. I'm not telling you what else she has. She is hoping I don't use this. She is hoping the heat stays up so that she can burn that jewelry box. Um, but to do that, I need to put a 2 in. And I know she needs that. So what do we got? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, I still don't want to do this cabinet gore and miss out on the kerosene, so I'm not going to go with that. If the heat is 4 or below, get the emergency supplies. So this would become in good for an emergency. Now I think it's time to burn the picture frame. Boom. And we get this out. Easy peasy. Fine, I draw a card. It's a hunting trophy. Okay. Wow, you gotta, it has to burn hot, and uh, so that's something to bear in mind. And Jen says, three, four, five, six, seven. She says, yes, she will use the axe to get some more heat. We jump up, and Jen throws that, and she's so glad. She was really worried she was going to have a hard time getting rid of it. That was a big gamble that she took earlier not getting rid of it, but she was able to do it. We had a total of eight by using the axe. It's gone now. And so we are now burning a... We're back to where we started. Three, four, five... Uh, uh, three, four, five, six. Okay. And Jen draws a card. And remember, Jen's got a bunch... She's got five cards in her hand. And we've still got more items we could find. So we're doing really well. So far, nobody's had to take any um, frostbite. Let's keep going. All right. So what we have six... Now's as good a time as any to burn this trophy. Um, although we're, we're dropping, we're going from three to two. Okay, and I draw a card, which is the rug. And it's Jen's turn. So, Jen could be in trouble now. Uh, we have a heat of five. She cannot bump it up. Can she play something? Um, hmm. Doo, doo, doo. Yes. Should she do this? Yeah, she will. She has some old curtains. She must have found them somewhere. Uh, they needed a total of uh, two. Easy peasy. Although that's the thing. Using these right now when we don't need them. This is something you hold on to because if the fire starts going out and you start getting in trouble, then you can... You know what? Again, I'm kind of giving stuff away. You, we shouldn't know. Jen's not going to play this. We're... This is going to get us back up, but Jen would rather hold on to this for an emergency. And I'll just tell you right now, there's nothing else she has that she would like to play. And she feels like she's to save that for a really bad situation. So Jen, for the first time, is not going to feed the fire. She's going to scavenge instead. All right. E um, which means she's going to draw three cards. Um, oh. And she just found a fire dwindles. Which means immediately. she doesn't. This doesn't go in her hand. This immediately gets added to the fire pit. All right. So, um, and as you can see, this is bad news. This doesn't help at all. Uh, because it's not generating any heat, and we just have to wait for it to go away. And what's worse, if this is the fourth card, and you immediately, this does not count as the end of round fire dying, this just goes away. So we just um, dropped by two heat. Anyway, though, Jen will now continue to scavenge. Boom. 
Boom. And now we're in a bit of trouble. We have three total heat, which means it's going to be much tougher to find stuff in the burn, which is why, again, we don't know this yet, but it's a good thing Jen held on to these old curtains. Even if it gets colder, Jen could still burn these potentially. All right, but anyway, so in the meantime, Jen has drawn three cards. She can decide to keep them all for herself, or she can give them to me, or she can split them up however she wants. What is she going to do? You know what? She's going to give me all of them. She's just giving me all three. She could have kept them for herself, but she already has a big hand of cards, and she decided I should have a big hand of cards too. And the nice thing is, she just gave me a wooden spoon, which can burn even when the fire is not very hot. And she knows my turn is coming up. And for all she knew, I wasn't in a situation. And in fact, I am not in a situation. Because next round... All right, so anyway, at the end of Jen's turn, this goes away. And because there are now fewer than three cards, Jen gets the first frostbite. It's unavoidable. Sooner or later, it's going to happen. And so Jen is suffering from violent shivering. She cannot play kindling cards with even heat. She can only play odd-numbered heat cards. And uh, until she can remove this frostbite, this is going to be a problem for her. Unless she only has, who knows, maybe this isn't a problem for her. Maybe she's doing fine, but we'll see how that goes. Because she's started to violently shiver. And so, um, she does still get to draw a card, like always, at the end of her turn. Oops, you're not supposed to see that. And sorry, and now it's my turn. And we have a total of two heat. Which means I could burn the spoon she just gave me. I could burn the lampshade, but there's a red. So that's a bad. So for worn back. I cannot burn this rug. Oh, it's too bad, because if I could, if the heat is six or below, get the uh, blanket, but I just can't burn it. I don't have enough heat. I could burn the upholstery. Oh, Jen gave me the spoon to protect us, but that's okay. I'm going to burn the couch upholstery. We have a total heat of two. Alrighty. The heat total is four or below. Get the emergency supplies. Boom. Add a car, add a top card to fire. Um, no trigger. Oh, Wow. So that's pretty handy, because what this means is anybody on a future turn could use this and then just what, draw whatever and put it on. You do not have to worry about the normal um, you know, burning hot enough to be able to play. So we could get really lucky and play a card that was really hard to play, or we might, um, you know, but who knows? It's a bit of a gamble, but this is really handy to have, uh, again, when things get really, really dire. Now, I'm not done yet. Remember, so far you've only been seeing us play one, but you can keep playing cards until there's four. So I can play another card now. And now, the total heat is three, so now I can play the rug. So I will play the rug, and because the total heat of one, two, three, four is below six, we get the blanket as well. Boom! And uh, things are looking good again. The hunting trophy burns out, but since there are not, we're not down to two cards, I don't get any frostbite, and now it is Jen's turn. And now, remember... At the beginning of her turn, she can get rid of Frostbite. And what that means is, at the beginning of Jen's turn, if our total heat is 7, this will go away. So that means she relies on me. I have to, at the end of my turn, have made the fire in a position where it's a total of 7 heat so Jen can stop violently shivering. And until then, she can't necessarily play all of her cards. So that is definitely a problem. Although she can still use these items and stuff like that. So... Right, so what is she going to do? Our heat is now two. Things have gotten very, very cold. Very, very cold indeed. Which is why it's a good thing Jen saved the gold curtains. Remember, she thought about doing it earlier, but now's the time to burn these things. Burn, baby, burn. Only needed two. They went up just like that, and they're burning hot at three. So, we are back in business. Jen draws another card. And this was not an even number. Uh, right, it was an odd number, so she, even though her shivering, she was able to burn these curtains. Nice! That was a good save. Okay, back to me. And I've got a bunch of cards. What's our heat now? Three, four, five. And remember, at the end of the turn, this is going to go away. Which means we'll have four plus whatever. So if I could play a three, that means on Jen's turn, she would have the seven. But I don't have anything that burns three. Alright. Um, so, I mean, I could use the uh, emergency supplies and draw this. And heck, maybe this will burn three. Maybe we'll get lucky. And that will give Jen what she needs. But, hmm. Also, I don't want to play the lampshade or the worn paper because they both have this greatest. If I play this, instead of getting rid of the rightmost thing, I have to get rid of the hottest thing. Now is not a good time to play those. All right, so 
And you can see why I did play one of those earlier when I had to, because there can be much worse situations where you might have to play them. So that means I want to play the door, which is which is nice, although I'm wasting this. We will not get the kerosene. So maybe I should just give that spoon that Jen gave me a long time ago. Or, or I could just take a chance and hope uh, Jen gets that seven she needs. And by the way, it has to be exactly seven. It can't be seven or eight or nine or ten. It has to be exactly seven. So I think that's a bit much of a gamble to hope we would draw a three. Um, also, by the way, I'm not worried about Jen. I just noticed the blanket we got means she can get rid of this whenever she needs to. I don't have one. In fact, you know what? Now that we've got this, I'm not going to put anything in. I'm going to let it go down. I'm going to get some frostbite. But I want to get a bigger hand of cards because the more flexibility we have, the better. So I'm going to scavenge. One. A uh, chunk of banister. Two. Three. All right. So I could give any of these to Jen. I could keep them for myself. What are we at? Three, four, five. Although on Jen's turn, it's going to be four. So I could give her this dictionary because, for all I know, she can't play anything else. I know she's got a bunch of cards, but I'm going to give her this dictionary because she will be able to play it next turn. It won't affect her shivering, and it'll start getting the fire warmer. I think that's a good move because, you know, she might need the help. Um, and then we've got both of these. that The fire has to be burning really, really hot. But this four, I'm going to keep this because I need to put us in a situation where I can get us up to the seven because we'd rather not use this if we don't have to. And then for this bed sheet. So I'm going to give this to her or me. You know, it's to be great for me to have, but it's also great for me to know what she has. Although, here's the problem. She can't play it. It's an even number heat. So I'll keep it for myself. All right, so that's it. I scavenged, um, which means this burns out. And now it's frostbite time. I volunteered for this frostbite, but I'm not too worried because I can get rid of it if we need it. And Jen's got so many cards, I'm hoping she's okay with this. Plus, we're still burning four. With two cards burning four, that's pretty good. So my frostbite is... Oh dear, memory loss. When I would draw a card, draw two, keep the one with the higher ash, the one that's harder to burn, return the other to the top of the deck. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay, and at the beginning of my turn, the heat has to be exactly four for me to get rid of it. So I don't have to use this. I could get rid of it that way. And as you might imagine, you can build up multiple frostbite cards. But anyway, it is Jen's turn. It is not burning at seven, so she can't get rid of that. Although she could get rid of it if she needed to. Um, she, we have a burn of four, so she has to play an odd-numbered heat of four. And remember, I gave her this dictionary, so I know she's safe. I know she can play that if she needs to. Um, but she likes that. She'd rather hold on to that. Is there anything else she would like to play? Hmm. Um. Oh, I think so. Uh, so Jen's not playing the dictionary, which means I know she's still got the dictionary. In fact, Jen and I have found when we play, when we give a card to each other, we leave it out on the table face up so that we don't have a memory element because we hate memory elements so that I know she hasn't played this yet. It's part of her hand, but I, but you know, rather than having to memorize what I've given her, but anyway, Jen's going to burn the rotten floorboards. It's an odd, it only needs one heat. And it says if the heat total is four or five, get the alcohol. The heat total is one, two, three, four, five. Jen just found some alcohol under the rotten floorboards, which says we can put one heat. And what happens is when you use this, you put it on a tile, and that means whatever it is will burn hotter until that tile goes. So that's very, very handy. But anyway, Jen's not done yet, because she'll take another frostbite card if she doesn't play something else. So she could still play this dictionary now, but now the heat is up to five. Um, the heat is up to five. Okay. And if Jen doesn't play something, she could, you know, mm, you know what? Jen's not going to play this. Jen's going to take a big gamble. She, whatever it is that's in these emergency supplies, she's going to open it up now. She's just going to burn it. Whatever it is, hopefully to good effect. Let's see what we got. We've got a dollhouse, which... Okay, we could have played that anyway. So I was hoping for like a really high, hard to burn thing. That didn't happen. Still, Jen does not get any frostbite. The rug burns out and she draws a card. Okay, and now it's on to me and my memory loss. What is the heat? It's three, four, five, six. I cannot get rid of my memory loss. Oh, by the way, shoot. I totally cheated. At the end of my turn, I drew up. A... Ugh. 
Well, let's just say I drew the two cards like I was supposed to. I forgot. Folks, this is why I watch the thing on subtitles. I'm sure Paulo re reminded everybody that I was ignoring my memory loss, that I was suffering. Oopsie. Anyway, though. So, we've got a heat of uh, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We are starting to burn brighter again. We're going to lose three, though. I would rather not lose three. But I do not have any cards. Drat. Drat. So, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. You know what I'm going to do? We're going to burn the cabinet door down. Alrighty, you'd think that would let more cold in, wouldn't you? Alright, so, I, I had enough heat. And if the heat total is 9, get the kerosene. The heat total is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But not for long. That cabinet door is burning hot and it will continue to burn hotter now. We're at 9. We just got the kerosene. Alright, which anytime we need it is plus 3 heat. Nice, nice, nice. And, um, so, at the end of my turn, this goes away. And, uh, alright, let's not forget this time. Memory loss. I have to draw two cards, and um, I have to keep the one with a higher ash value. Five or six, so I have to keep the roof timber, but that's okay. We're burning hot right now, so this goes back over there. And the interesting thing is, I know this is the card Jen is going to get. This is what she's going to draw. Although, who knows if she scavenges, but she probably won't. Okay, so, is it seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. Drat! Just missed her getting rid of her Violent Shivering. But she's doing okay. She still has to play odd-numbered heat cards. And we have a total heat of 7. Although we could put that heat up to 10 if she wants. Uh, heat at 7, right? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. No, she doesn't want to play that. She can't play that. She can't play that. Drat. Drat, drat, drat. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Um, she, Jen, she's gonna get rid of her frostbite. She's gonna. I mean, we we. She's. I'm sick of waiting for you giving me helping me with this. She's gonna get rid of it herself. So this is gone. So she can play whatever she wants. So she is gonna burn the mirror frame. It was a tough thing to burn. We had to get it up high. But look at how hot it burns. This is gonna. These two things are gonna keep us warm for a while. So that was that. And then she discards that. She gets a card. And it's my turn. So we got four, seven, eight, nine. Wow. Do I have anything that burns that hot? No. But it is a good time to get rid of... Do I just want to keep things burning hot? Yeah, let's do it. Seven. Uh, so we're fine. S or sliding on over. That comes out. Oh, and we're about to lose our cabinet door. And remember, my memory loss means I draw two and keep the, the harder one. But that's the thing. We know this doesn't bother me if we're burning hot. So I will keep the portrait, which has an ash of six. And I know Jen is going to get those uh, shoes. So that was it for me. Right? Jen's turn. So we're at four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow. Wow. Eleven. And Jen has no restrictions. Hmm. All right. She's got a couple of interesting choices. Now might not be a time to get rid of these. It's hard to burn, and you have to burn it eventually. And it says, hey, get rid of uh, get rid of an additional card from the fire pit. So she's putting four in, and um, what this says is, instead of just burning one thing, you have to burn two, which means she's going to take another frostbite. But she's still leaving a four in. So we're burning through stuff really quick, but there's never going to be a good time to play this. But keeping the heat up, I think that's what she's going to do. She's going to do that. So, uh, because she needed a total of 8, we had 10. So she's burning a really hot thing. And burn 1. So, remove an additional card from the right of the fire pit. These are all gone. And Jen gets more frostbite. And she's now feeling a little paranoid. She doesn't know if I trust her with what she just did. That was a terrible time to draw. Right, right. So, she cannot be given kindling cards. So, if I go scavenging, I cannot hand her anything. You cannot use lucky find tokens. So, um, right. Okay, so, but still, she can still draw them at the end of her turn, so she draws one, and she's got something. And there we go, and it's back to me. Do we have a no four, so I'm still suffering my memory loss? We have eight, and now I could play multiple cards to get... All right, so let's go on ahead and burn... No, let's, bur let's burn these bed sheets, because we're up to eight, so that's pretty good. And so now we're burning uh, eight, nine, ten, and let's burn... Let's see, do I want to burn this portrait? I'm going to want to burn one of these. Do I keep the heat up or do I let it go down? Let's keep the heat. Let's keep it going. Let's keep that fire rocking. All righty. So there we go. Goes away. 
I draw two cards and keep the worst one. The Diary of the Nightgown, it'll be the Diary. Although, this is potentially useful because I can get rid of a... Instead of getting rid of the door jam, I could get rid of the... You know, etc, etc. So that's pretty cool. Jen's turn. Do we have a Heat of 5? No. She continues to be paranoid. Um, we have a Heat, again, of 10. We really need to take advantage of this. Oh, boy. And Jen does not have good cards. Let me go ahead and show you what she's got. She's got six cards here. And right, so she's, I mean, so she'd like to burn the wallpaper, right? Because uh, burn the hottest thing you can. But um, that says she will have to get rid of both of these, which means she'll get more frostbite. And suddenly we'll go down to only five heat. So burning the wallpaper, there is not a good time to do this. Uh, this would be very painful. It'd be better if the two rightmost were like lower. I mean, at the very least, she's only, you know, it could, it could be worse. So the hollow book, hey, she could burn this right now, which means we'd get the key, which would let uh, somebody draw another card and get a, um, but we could burn this later when the heat's a bit down. And this is another have to burn two things instead of one. And this is another, I mean, so she's got a lot of bad stuff to burn. There's no getting around it. So she might as well do it now. The worst thing she can just to get it gone. All right. Because we can always pump the heat back up if we need to. Because we've got the kerosene. So she put that down, which means two go away. And she's got frostbite again. It's getting worse. Now she's got numb fingers. Um, boons, which are the black cards, like target. If she tries to play these, the benefit does not happen. So that's very bad. That's very, very, very bad indeed. Um, anyway, uh, but and interesting thing, the heat is five. Still not good enough for my memory loss, but I can now. Can I play? Can I get us back up there? A heat of five. Cannot play that. Cannot play that. This would put us at a heat of six, so I could play the portrait. Yeah, let's do that. Let's play that spoon that she gave me a long time ago. So now we got a heat of six. And remember, I can play until there's four cards. So we're back up to eight, baby. But then here's the painful thing. Oh, that was a big one to lose. A big one indeed. And um, it is Jen's turn. The heat is uh, two, three, four, not five or six. Ah, she can't get rid of either of those. Oh, and let's not forget, I draw. I'm still memory loss, so I draw two. And oh, here's where things get really bad. I'm drawing two and keeping one for myself. But meanwhile, the fire dwindles and it comes into play. Oh, All right. So now I got to keep the worst one. So I got to keep the wooden figure. Oh my goodness. All righty. Um, and that put the fourth, which means that went away too. So things are getting scary, but we've got this three heat whenever we need it, and we might need it now. Wow. Um, what to do? What to do? I'm not sure, folks, but I think I'm going to stop right there because that should give you a pretty good idea of the flow of Coldest Night. And if you'd like to hear some final thoughts now, you can hit that I in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes in five, four, three, two, one.